With climate change, snow is becoming increasingly rare, which is threatening low and medium altitude ski stations. We had like 35% of all tourism in wintertime 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Nowadays, oh, we're speaking about 18 to 20% tourism in wintertime. European project Beyond Snow aims to help Alpine regions to overcome their dependence on snow. Our main objective is actually to provide them with the necessary tools and data in order to uh, develop their own community-based transition strategies for climate change adaptation. Lake Bahin in Slovenia attracts 250,000 tourists per year, most of whom now visit in summer. Overlooking this stunning view, there are 22 pieces for skiers between 1,500 and 1,800 meter of altitude. But for how long? We need to find how we will develop the, the hiking trails, the cycling trails, not to damage the pastures. There are three main pillars, agriculture, tourism, and environmental protection that we need to, 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 to have in our mind. Bahin is one of the 10 pilot sites of Beyond Snow. In France, Italy, Slovenia, Switzerland, Germany and Austria, they are trying to reinvent themselves by sharing their experiences. They did interviews with stakeholders, they did workshops, we did for them a tourist survey, and based on all this information, they're actually elaborating currently the transition strategies. So it's a very community-driven strategy that they're elaborating it and not solely focusing on tourism, but on the overall livability of the place that they call home as well. This transition also means fighting against rural depopulation. In Italy, young people are leaving the Carnia Mountains at the same pace as the snow, which deserts the tiny Pladibosco resort at 1,100 meter of altitude. They want to stay, but they don't have perspective. Mostly they need jobs here on the territory that would allow them to live here and make plans in the future here. Beyond Snow is funded by the European Union Cohesion Policy to the tune of almost 2 million euros and it also encourages communities to grow their own potential, like the neighbouring village Pesari, which is banking on its famous clocks. There was a, an enterprise has been established 300 years ago and they produced monumental clocks. Actually, the municipality, they are developing a narrative around this, so they are investing in their museum of the clocks. To win this race against the clock, Beyond Snow will soon be offering a digital tool so that the threatened areas can be successful in their transition.